Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, today's video, we're basically just gonna kinda do like a full rundown of how to properly use the texture machine that you can rent from Home Depot. Um, I know that a lot of you homeowners out there and young contractors rent these and you know, use them to spray your own texture. I've used these things many times. It's what I do for a living. I have the routine down. So I'm gonna show you like from start to finish how to get a really nice light orange peel finish out of these. They do a good job if you know how to use it right. I'm gonna show you everything, so let's go. And don't forget to subscribe and like and turn on the bell. Off and on. This black knob here, uh, it controls the material flow. And so it's, you know, kind of how much mud is coming out, right? So as you come around the top of this, you see how the black dots get bigger and bigger. Well, this big black dot, the biggest one, obviously that's like, you know, maximum. Okay, I usually tone it down and go one down. I don't go all the way up. I kind of tone it down a little bit so you're on the second biggest dot. So right around there, give or take, to me is just the right amount of flow. So when you have the air turned all the way up and you pull that trigger, you have the perfect mix and you're getting a really nice light orange peel texture coming out. Okay, if you're new, you might want to tone it down and just practice. That way, you know, you're kind of if you have it turned up high, you risk accidentally spraying too much texture on the wall. So you may want to tone it down, just spray one wall quickly, check it out until you get used to it, and then you can turn it up when you're ready. You know, just a thought. Okay, let's put this thing together. make sure that you have the right tip that you need because sometimes they're not there. Like, I just checked. I have three of the exact same tips here. One black one, there's not a white one, there should be. But you wanna make sure that you have the one that you need before you leave the store because sometimes, you know. You're gonna use the smallest tip they got. The smallest tip you can, okay? The beige color tip. Okay, you want a nice, really light orange peel texture like what you see on every new house? That's what you want. Okay. Check this out. <laughs> Home Depot rented me a texture machine that's got grass and little bits of leaves and dirt. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Home Depot. <laughs> I guess I'll clean it out. Now, there's also a second way you can control the material. Hopefully we can uh, get, see this little screw here. You can screw that by hand easily, okay? That controls your material. Okay, if you tighten it up all the way so it's all the way tied up against your trigger, that means that when you pull the trigger, it's gonna open that valve all the way and all the material is gonna freely just flow through. If you feel like that's a bit much while you're working, it's just kind of spraying too much on too fast and you don't want it that heavy, you can screw this back. See, now you have some wiggle room here. Now when I pull the trigger all the way, it only opens that valve maybe halfway, okay? So not as much material is coming out. Might be easier to control. You know, you might have the flow just the way you want it. So. So there you go. I love that they have these guns set up like this because when I'm spraying, if I feel like it's not enough, I can turn it up. I can spray the next wall. It's good, then I'm good, and I can just keep on going. So I can easily adjust it while I'm working. So there you go. Two ways to control your material flow here and on the side of the machine that we already talked about. Okay. Okay, real quick, let's uh, talk about the mud for a second. Obviously, you're gonna wanna use the Fast Tex mud. You can get it at any Home Depot or Lowe's. Um, I love this stuff. The consistency, when you mix it right, it, it just seems to you know, have a really nice light orange peel look to it. And the color of the mud when you mix it, usually on a, on a light orange peel texture job, 
you finish it smooth, you spray a quick color primer, and then you spray your texture. The color of this texture shows up on the wall pretty good so that I can see what I'm doing. When I'm spraying this texture, I can see what the texture is doing, okay? Because the color of this is has a different tone than, than the white walls, and I can just see what it's doing. So as I'm spraying, I can see exactly what the texture looks like. I know it's done. I don't have to stop, go over and look, pick up a light, okay? You can use BDEX all-purpose light or BDEX topping light if you don't have some texture. So if you got an extra box of all-purpose light or topping light, you can totally use that. It's fine. It'll If you mix it right, you'll get a really nice texture out of those. You're not going to notice much difference. So if I'm on a job and I have a box of topping light, I'm just going to use it. I don't need to make the extra trip to go get a box of texture. Okay. But if I have it, obviously I'm going to use this. Okay. Not a huge difference, but um, when you use the topping light or all-purpose light, you just don't see it show up on the wall as good. Sometimes you gotta stop and grab the light and kind of see what it's doing to make sure it's going good because it just doesn't show up because it's kind of the same color as the wall. So it's just like, you know, so that's whatever. Um, another trick that you can do is you can get some chalk, like the kind of chalk that you use when you want to snap a line, right? Um, add some chalk to your mud, mix it up, and it will darken up the color of, mud, of the mud. And then when you spray it, you can totally see it going on the wall. You can see exactly how heavy the texture is. You can see exactly what you got. So you know when to just move on to the next wall. And because you can see it so good, you can just do the whole room in one shot and be done. Um, it's kind of nice. So that's just kind of a little trick to the trade. Add some chalk to your mud, just to darken it up a little bit and before you spray, and then you can really just see exactly what the texture is doing. So there you go, a little mud lesson. Okay, time to mix some mud. I just threw some mud in a bucket. Okay, so we're gonna be mixing up about three quarters of a bucket, which is plenty for a room this size. Basically, this is just a normal size bedroom. Okay, it's 12 by 16. The ceiling goes up to about 11 foot on one side. We got one tiny closet. So, normal size bedroom basically. Three quarters of a bucket is plenty. Okay, now time to add some water and mix this up. Okay, you see this? pancakes very important you want that nice light orange peel look in fact I'm probably gonna add just a tiny bit more water to this okay the reason why is because after it sits for about five ten minutes it will thicken up a bit so when you have it perfect let it sit for about maybe 10 minutes at the most. Check it, you're gonna find out that it's a little bit thicker and you're probably gonna to wanna to add a little bit more water, so. Okay, let's do a quick review. On the side of our machine, you got your on-off button and you got your material flow, okay? I usually have that about 75, 80%. And then uh, back of the machine, you got your compartment. Sorry if it looks a little shaky right here. But uh, the compartment where all your tips, make sure you get the smallest tip before you leave the store. Okay. We talked about how you can control your material with the gun. Okay. You know how to mix your mud. You know the consistency. So, we are ready to spray. Okay, we're about to spray, but real quick, let me just give you like a quick masking lesson here.
Okay, if you don't have a masking machine, you should get one. These, these are the best. They're so fast and they're so convenient. They make my life so much easier. The masking goes by so much faster. If you try to do it by hand without one of these, it's gonna take way longer. I never leave home without this. Okay. Anytime you do a texture job, you go through and you do all the masking, but you leave one door uh, uncovered. Okay, you don't mask one door because you gotta go in and out. But then, as soon as you're ready to start spraying, obviously then you're gonna cover the door. So we're just gonna do this just for a quick masking lesson. You can use four foot plastic, this plastic here, you can get it at Home Depot, you can get a Sherwin-Williams, 48 inch plastic. When you unfold it, that means it comes out 48 inches. You can use the 48 inch and you can run it down this way and then fold it over here to cover the door or you can use the 99 inch plastic. You can run it this way and bring it down. We're gonna use 48. Leave about four inches extra. If it's too long at the top and at the bottom. Now we're going to unfold it over and then we're just going to do staples about every two feet and that's all we're going to do. Okay guys, I just have some drama. Look, when you rent these from Home Depot, these things get used and abused. And I would say about four out of five times that I rent these, they were great. And I rent these about once a month, give or take. But you got that one out of five times where I get one that it doesn't work. And it's infuriating. You get to your job, you get everything set up, you're ready to go and finish up your job and go home and you find out it doesn't work. They ran into a broken texture machine and that's infuriating. So you gotta clean it up, take it all the way back, get another one, just kind of ruins your day. So, what you need to do, especially if you have a job that's kind of like far away from Home Depot, kind of a long drive, bring a half a bucket of water with you. And basically you can, you can either wheel it right outside the door by the rental section and then run the cord in, just plug it in and then spray some water through it before you go to make sure it's working right. Um, or they do have right next to the desk, they have a little tiny workshop where they have a big drain in the floor and a slop sink. They could easily run a little bit of water through this thing before you leave. So you should ask them, you should say, hey, I wanna spray a little water before I go just to make sure it works. And they should easily do that for you. And it's a really good idea. I mean, I've had jobs where, I mean, I had a job that was about an hour and 10 minute drive away from the Home Depot and I get up there and it doesn't work. I gotta drive all the way back, I gotta exchange it. I gotta go back up, finish my job. I mean, it just ruins your day. So sometimes the people that work there, they don't know what's going on. They think it works, but they really don't know if it works or not. And they'll just rent it to you. So it's up to you. Bring a half a bucket of water with you or ask them to go over by the slop sink and just quickly spray a little water through it just to make sure it works. It's a really good idea to do that. So uh, yeah. There you go. Most of the time it's fine and they do a great job most of the time. And you know, I just had to deal with that. I just fired up this texting machine and it didn't work. I had to run back, get a different one, come back. It's infuriating. So uh, anyway, let's spray this wall and take a quick look. But there we go. Okay. Anyway, looks good. I'm gonna spray a touch more around the angles. They're a little thin. Um, yeah, and it does shrink a tiny bit when it's dry, so, and it looks nice. So, there you go. If I wanted it to be even lighter, I would just add a little bit more water to my mud and just mix it up real quick. Um, and I would decrease the material flow a little bit so you have a little more air, a little less material that'll kind of lighten it up. But this is good. We're good. It does shrink a tiny bit when it dries, which is good. So there we go. 
Okay guys, that's it. It's not rocket science. I mean, these machines are kind of self-explanatory, but there's a couple things that you need to know to really get a nice uh, light orange peel texture. So hopefully there was something in this video that makes your life easier, and hopefully you get that light orange peel texture that you want. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. See you on the next one.